Welcome to the Potter Blog site, November 5th, 2013. New information out today about the experimental H7N9 vaccine. It's more dangerous than previously thought. Uh, the information comes from this Canadian story that narcolepsy has been linked to the Canadian version of the H1N1 vaccine. Uh, you, know, you have to wonder what in the world does it have to do the American version of the H7N9 vaccination with the Canadian version of an H1N1 vaccination. Well, it all has to do with an adjuvant called ASO3. A adjuvant is something that is added to vaccine to drive your body's immune system into overdrive to try to get it to react to something that it wasn't designed to react to. So, for that reason, the CDC has never allowed an adjuvant to be used in any sort of flu vaccine in the United States of America. This H7N9 vaccination is going to be the first time it's going to be used in America. And they just purchased 600 million syringes to give every person in the country two shots of this vaccine. Here's the, uh, the FedOps biz request for it. You can see here's the dollar amount 125 million and if you go in and you read through it here's the uh, more information out of the solicitation we scroll down and they clearly state here yes 512 million is correct a pandemic vaccine cam campaign may require two doses which means that we need to pre be prepared to handle the requirements 600 million the balance of 88 million is made up of separate needles and syringes that are swing stock for pre-filled syringes. Okay, so now hopefully you have some idea of what's going on here. But what is the new information that's made it dangerous? And what is the, the what we find utterly incredible about this is that the CDC and BARDA are basically using qualitative reasoning to claim that this ASO3 adjuvant is safe in the American vaccination program. Now it's qualitative, not quantitative. Qualitative versus quantitative is like witchcraft versus science, alchemy versus chemistry. The United States government has decided to use basically witchcraft as a basis to show that this vaccination, including this adjuvant, is safe. The breaking story coming out today is, is that there's now quantitative evidence coming out of Canada that it's not safe. And here's the deal. Now pay attention to this closely. So what happened is, is that the Europeans use this vaccine, H1N1 vaccine out of, camp, out of uh, Germany, that had this ASO3 adjuvant in it. A whole lot of people, especially children, came down with narcolepsy from this European vaccine. Now, what our government did said, well, there's no evidence that people in Canada who got the H1N1 vaccine with this same adjuvant made by Canadian GSK company came down with uh, narcolepsy. Therefore, we believe it's safe to use this adjuvant in the American vaccine. Well, as we just showed you, there is now evidence showing that uh, Canadian people came down with narcolepsy too. Matter of fact, here was a quote from a doctor. I was shocked. I noticed that the cases were more severe. She added that most children she sees now have cataplexy, a sudden loss of muscle function that's unusual in children. Of course, it seems like sort of a stupid hunch to expect that a dangerous product made by the same company would somehow become safer because it's made by the same company in a different country. Unfortunately, that hunch is exactly the excuse the CDC and BARDA used as a safety basis for adding ASO3, the US H7N9 vaccine. To put it clearly, for CDC and BARDA to excuse a known dangerous risk of narcolepsy based on a qualitative hunch with no quantitative knowledge and then to test the end product on kids equals witchcraft. It's no simpler than that. This truly is witchcraft. It's unqualitative. I mean, it's, it's not quantitative. It's purely qualitative. 
Now this witchcraft passes as healthcare science these days because our private medical system is being transitioned to an agribusiness, herd-based, veterinary type system where everyone is expected to believe that they, they will be treated as if they were a prize heifer. Whereas the historical truth of, the, of these types of systems <clears throat> is that health choices of the individual will be sacrificed on the altar of centrally planned, paid for public health. <clears throat> Excuse me. CPPP. The end result will be a health care famine. Now those who think that the CPP is a good thing should read the history of how the CCP, former Soviet Socialist Republics, transitioned agribusiness from private to public. And we have a quote here from the famine in Hungary and how the Soviets transitioned private agribusiness into public. Millions of people died. The quote from an official was, the famine was a great success. It showed peasants who is the master here. It cost millions of lives, but the collective farm system is here to stay. And we have a link to the history of this uh, here in our source links. But here's the cure takeaway of this. Now we base our analysis on risk mitigation. And every individual has the right to decide for themselves what is more risky. Taking a vaccine with an untested adjuvant that's known to cause narcolepsy versus the possibility of becoming infected with H7N9 and having injury resulting from that infection that is worse than the probability of coming down with narcolepsy or something else. You know, that is the private risk mitigation decision every person has to make for themselves. But in agribusiness, it doesn't work that way. That type of logic only applies to the prize heifer. You know, if you've got a dangerous vaccine, you don't vaccinate the prize heifer. That's why many doctors don't like taking some of these vaccines. You vaccinate the rest of the herd. And if some of them die, well, that's no big loss because the economics of scale work out on the side of the herd. And that's what we've got going on here with this adjuvant, ASO3. And that's why they're willing to use qualitative measures that, oh, even though this adjuvant, when made by GSK in Germany, ended up making lots of people ill with permanent narcolepsy, if we have the same company make it in Canada, it'll be safe. It's witchcraft.